Third November, two thousand twenty-three. Madhupan, Avyakta Bhaktada, Om Shanti. Revise, twenty-fifth of November, nineteen ninety-five. The Murli's title is "Became Free from Following the Dictates of Others." Means Parmat, thinking about others. Means Parchintan, and looking at others. Men's part darshan, and became one who uplifts others. Today, Bhaktada is looking at all of those who are children of the Father, those who are special souls, whether they are from Bharat or from any corner of the foreign lands. Bhaktada is seeing all the special souls as being very close to him. Bhaktada is pleased to see his special children. Your children also experience happiness, saying the father, "Do it not. You feel happy, and this is why you come running here." So, to the father also has the happiness that each child of his is a special soul, whether your souls are old, uneducated, young children in your youth, or householders, your special souls. When compared to the whole world, no matter that they are great scientists who show miracles, even if they have reached the moon, when compared to the special children of the father, they are ignorant. They know about the five elements and have even gained victory over them, but they do not know about the tiny points, the soul. Here, if you ask even a little child. Who are you? What would he say? He would say, "I am a soul." He would even show you where each soul resides. However, ask a scientist, "What is a soul?" And he has not yet been able to know about souls. No matter how great someone is in terms of history or special in terms of the world, if he doesn't know himself. Then a child of five years here is more special. At the beginning, you all had a very intoxicating song. Do you remember the song? You used to have a song. No matter how great a lord or merchant someone may be, if he doesn't know alpha, no matter how great he is, whether he is a political leader or an actor, if he doesn't know himself. What does he know? So you are such special souls. Here on one side, you have an educated old mothers, whereas there on the other side, they may have a mahatma. Yet these old mothers would say with intoxication that they have attained God. The mahatma would say that it is very difficult to attain God. Whereas here, what would a mother? Who is hundred years old and whose intellect has faith? Say, you might be still searching for God, but I have attained God. So, what is the Mahatma compared to you? Householder would say with intoxication that they sleep in a double bed while living together. You say we are still pure even whilst living together because we have the Father in between us. However, what would a Mahatma say? He would say that it is impossible for fire and cotton wool to live together. Yet, what is it for you? Householder speaks. Is it easy or difficult to remain pure? What is it like? Is it easy or does it sometimes feel difficult? Those who are strong can speak even in a large gathering. And see with intoxication that purity is their original religion. It is not another external religion, but their own original religion. Whatever belongs to you is easy to follow, whereas whatever is external to you feels difficult. Impurity is an external religion, whereas purity is your original religion. So, do you know your speciality? Many new ones have come, but no matter how new you are, 
the lesson of purity is from isn't it there are even some children who say that for the year until they meet the father they are all right and that it is because everyone else knows that they are very strong in following the disciplines however once they have been to madhuban and seen it once they have come here they then become careless when they return however just think about it to whom did you make the promise of purity to the father it is the father's order so if you become careless after having made a promise to father who would experience the loss in the brahman family when one leaves then and others come however those souls still experience a loss because of being weak therefore those new children who have come here for the first time you have come to father's soul and this is your great fortune however do not ever let the line of your fortune decrease even slightly content to increase your fortune in the world outside when a baby is born what does everyone say they say may he live forever or have a long life so baptist also wishes to see the eternal speciality of the spiritual souls not the speciality of just a short time it should not be something that only last for one or two years only those who remain eternal receive an eternal reward so are the mother strong whether you are one year old two years or four years old in knowledge the completion will take place at the same time destruction will take place at the same time or will you say that you are still only two years old and that you wish to have your silver jubilee and then destruction can take place it cannot be like that this is why those who have come later have to go ahead you can earn a great deal in a short time at least you have received some time to make effort as you make further progress you will not receive even this much time you were told earlier that the boat for being late has been put up but the boat for being too late has not yet been put so all of you are lucky simply content to move forward while keeping your fortune in your awareness do not get involved in other matters today back that i was saying why the time for making effort of some children goes to waste no one wants this to happen you all want your time to be used in a worthwhile way yet in between sometimes half an hour sometimes 15 minutes and sometimes even 5 minutes are wasted and so what is the reason for that today back to the sada there are three reasons why the efforts of the majority of you are very little or weak first point while you continue to move along you mix the dictates of other souls with shrimat someone may have told you something and you would think that the one who has told you that is a very good honest maharathi you even have faith in that soul and when such a soul relates something to you it is interesting it is of course good to hear news just as you love listening to the news of the world so too you also love listening to the news of the brahman world so because of having faith in that soul you absorb whatever he told you within yourself you did not cut him off so of course it may be true news can also be true not all of it is false some may even be honest but what is the father's directions is it baba's order that you may listen to such news no whatever you have no connection with if it is just interesting news and you cannot do anything about it if you heard it that news would have entered your intellect and so your time was wasted was it not 
you mix the dictates of others with the shrimad that you have received from the father. The father's directions is that whilst listening, do not hear. So, why did you hear it? You have instilled that habit. For instance, someone may relate some news to you once and you enjoy that very much because it was something new. Sometimes it happens that you listen to them once and so where would they go the second time? They would come to you. You become a dustbin for them. Whatever such news they have, they will come and relate that to you because you listened to them before. Therefore, explain to them and liberate them from such matters. Do not increase your interest by listening to them. However, if you do listen to them, have that much courage that you are able to put a full stop for them and for yourselves for all time. Let there not be the slightest feeling of dislike even in your mind or vision for anyone who shares such news. If you have this much power, then this is not listening to them, but it is like bringing benefit to them. However, in the result, it is seen that the majority of you collect rubbish and little by little, it makes a difference in your behavior and activity. Then even if there isn't anything else, you would not have any feeling of serving that soul, but you would feel heavy. This is known as mixing the dictates of others with Srimad. Even that that listens to the news, but what happens is that the intention of the majority of you changes. Even in relating something, the intention changes. One comes and says, I saw that these two were speaking. Hearing this, the second person says they were standing there but not standing very nicely. So that is an addition. Then a third one says they always do that. Whatever were their feelings and intentions about the conversation, they were changed. So the dictates of others spoils the atmosphere. Therefore, the reason that time is wasted is firstly by your following the dictates of others and secondly, by your thinking about others, it cannot happen that you hear something and then don't relate it to eight or ten others. This should not happen. Even when others are in a faraway country, you would write to them about how something new happened here and that you would definitely tell them about it when they come here. So, what is this? thinking about others. When you tell four people about something, you spoil the feelings of the four people for that one person. Then once the thinking of others starts, its speed becomes very fast and carries on for a long time. Second point, thinking about others does not finish in one or two seconds, but it tells you that to make someone interested in listening to knowledge you should relate knowledge in the form of a story. What happened first and then what happened after that. Therefore, their interest increases in the way as to what happened next and what happened after that. This type of thinking about others is also an interest in other person would then definitely think what happened next. Yes, it must have happened like this. So, the story also becomes very long. Bhaktada sees and hears about things in everyone's heart. No matter how much someone tries to hide it, Bhaktada does not reveal it openly in public. But he does know everything and he sees everything. No matter how much someone says, No, I don't ever do this. Bhaktada has a register of how many times you did something what you did and what time you did it and to how many you did it. But that has a register of all of that. It is just that he sometimes has to remain quiet. So the second aspect is in thinking about others. They would never have thoughts of eternal self. When anything happens, those who think about others would blame others for their own mistake 
and those who think about others are number one in making up stories. They would blame others for their mistake and prove themselves to be right in such a way that those seniors who hear them would have to remain silent. So having thoughts of the original self is not just repeating points of knowledge or relating points of knowledge or listening to points of knowledge. Rather, having thoughts of your original self means to finish your own subtle weaknesses and little mistakes by thinking those thoughts to transform mistakes is to have thoughts of your original self. However, all of you are very clever at listening and relating knowledge, that is, at having thoughts of knowledge, that is, churning. But the deep meaning of having thoughts of the original self is to be thinking about oneself. When the results are announced, it will not be seen that someone churned the knowledge very well or that he used the knowledge for service very well. Before that result, one has to have thoughts of the original self and transform oneself. To have thoughts of the original self means to bring about transformation. So for the results, Babda is telling you that when the final results are announced, the first marks will be for your being a practical embodiment of Tharna. Those who are an embodiment of Tharna will be natural yogis anyway. If you want to claim high marks, what should you do? What do you give lectures on nowadays? On values? So check what you relate to others about their value. First, there are marks for service, but there are also marks for being an embodiment of dharna. One mark for service and ten marks for dharna. If you are not able to give knowledge, but you are able to create an impact with your dharna, you then accumulate marks for your service. Many people think nowadays that they receive a very small chance to do service, that they want to do more service. I should receive a chance first. Why? Others are given a chance. So why am I not? It is very good to do service because when the intellect is free, it creates a lot of waste. Therefore, doing service is a very good way of keeping your intellect busy. You have very good enthusiasm for doing service. But according to the drama or the circumstances you were not given that chance, then if instead of serving others, your stage fail or the service you did brought about fluctuation, then what service was that? What practical fruit would you receive from that service? True service, service done with love and service done with everyone's blessing, give the instant practical fruit of happiness. However, while doing service, if you have any ill feeling, do you know what that Brahmin feeling is called? What do Brahmins call that feeling? Flu. What does someone who has flu do? He goes to sleep. He would not eat anything. But would go to sleep. Here too, what happens when someone has a bad feeling? He would either stop eating or sit and sulk. So, this is also a flu, is it not? If you are an embodiment of dharna and a true server, you would not do service with any selfish motive. One is to do service with benevolent feelings and the other is to do service with selfish motives, such as that your name is glorified, that your photograph will be printed in the newspaper or shown on TV, that this will happen. There are many ways for your name to be glorified amongst the Brahmins. Your teacher would keep you in the front and would ask about you. All of those feelings are of service done with selfishness. However, According to the present time, according to the revelation at this time, service will now come to you. The aspect at the time of the establishment was something different. You will not have to chase after service. Service will itself come walking to you. If you are a true server, you do not receive any other service. Bhadrava the says that you still have to serve with your face and your behavior. Let your face give a vision of the Father. 
let your face and your behavior remind others of the Father. This is the form of service. Be such a serviceable souls who do not have any selfish motives. Do not think that your alone should be given a chance. I should be given this chance. Why am I not given this chance? I should be given this chance. Such a thoughts are also called selfishness. Even though your name is not well known in the Brahmin family, though you are a good server, yet your name is not known, the Father has your name. Since your name is in the Father's heart, what more do you want? And not just in the Father's heart, but because Babdada keeps the accounts, when the final number is given, your number will be ahead. You may not have received a chance. You may be right, but you were not given a chance. And so, that is also noted. If you asked for a chance and did something, you also had some marks cut by doing that. The account of Dharam Raj is no less. It is very subtle account. This is why you have to be an altruistic server. You should not have any selfish motive. You should have the motive of bringing benefit. If, for instance, you are given a chance, but someone else thinks that it would be very good if he receives that chance, and that person is also worthy of it, then if you give the chance to that one, your share is accumulated in that. Even if you did not do it, even by giving someone else the chance to do it, you accumulate your share of it. You do wish to become a true diamond. And so, you must understand the accounts. Do not move along carelessly and think, it is alright. It happened anyway. The account book is very subtle. The father does not have to do anything. Everything is automatic. Sometimes, Papa looks at the children's account book. The first aspect is following the dictates of others and the second aspect is thinking about others. The third aspect is looking at others. The majority of you is very clever at looking at others. When you look at others, where would that vision go afterwards? It would then enter your intellect. However, how can those who use their time in looking at others have time to look at their own selves. Many children think that many things happen and that whatever happens, they hear about it and they say it. The greater the gathering, the more things happen. Why do those things happen? Many think that these things should not happen. It is right to say that they should not happen. But why do you spend time on whatever you think should not happen? These things are a test paper. The greater the study, the harder the paper. To create this atmosphere is a test paper for everyone. To what extent do you keep yourself safe from following the dictates of others, from thinking about others and from looking at others? There are two separate things. One is the responsibility to look and hear with the feeling of benevolence. It is all right. If it is your responsibility and you have benevolent feelings. However, to see or listen to or think about other things about them and thereby create an upheaval in your own stage is wrong. If you consider yourselves to be responsible, then before taking you on that responsibility, you must make your break very powerful. Before you drive up a hill, you are warned in advance to check your bricks. Responsibility is also to have an elevated stage. You may take on a responsibility, but first check whether you are able to put a dot in a second. Or is it that you put a dot, but instead of a dot, a question mark is applied? That is wrong. Your time and energy are wasted in that. First of all, make your break powerful. You saw something, you heard something, and you brought benefit. You did as much as possible and put a full stop. If you have such a stage, then take that responsibility. Otherwise, see but do not see, hear but do not hear. Maintain thoughts of your original self. 
there is benefit in this so what was the lesson of today these three aspects became free from following the dictates of others from thinking about others and from looking at others what else should you do became free from these things and imbibe one thing this one thing is to be one who uplifts others finish these three things to do with others and instead do this one thing for others that is uplift others do you know how to do this which things will you liberate yourself from what will you mothers do will you uplift your children or all others become those who uplift everyone is this easy or difficult acha to all the special souls in all directions of the world to those who constantly have thoughts of the original self to the elevated souls who constantly churn this knowledge to the clothed souls whose every thought word and deed are according to the father shrimant to the special souls in all four directions who make themselves and souls move forward in the diamond jubilee to such special souls back to us love remembrance and namaste the spiritual children says namaste and good morning to the spiritual father blessing may you be powerful and become a mother to restore with the life giving hope the consciousness of those who have become unconscious explanation because the sun is powerful it spreads its light everywhere with its power similarly you have to become powerful and give everyone the life giving hope and continue to do the service of making unconscious ones conscious you will then be called a mahavir constantly be aware that you have to become victorious and make everyone else victorious the way to become victorious is to keep yourself busy stay busy in the task of benefiting yourself and the world and the atmosphere will then continue to become one that destroys obstacles slogan let your heart be constantly focused on the one comforter of hearts this is a real tapasya om shanti